One Piece Nation here today, and welcome to my review of One Piece Chapter 859. Okay, so, what do I think of One Piece Chapter 859? I really enjoyed this chapter. Holy shit, this chapter was amazing. I mean, it was honestly, but the only thing I didn't like was the Vin smoking or the Vin smoke. Maybe it was stupid. I had a hard time figuring out what they were doing. It looked like they were like summoning gear. Like they, it would kind of feel like a morphing theme from Power Rangers or Super Sentai, though, or Power Sneak or Super Sentai. So that looked really cool. Everything with beige was awesome. I hope we could have gotten more of that, but that was um really really nice. I also liked. I loved the bit of like silent communication with Sanji and his father. Like they don't speak. Sanji just points. He didn't point the bay like, get the fuck in, you piece of shit. Like, I hate your guts so much. But we're family, and I couldn't in good conscience let you die. And it's a really good thing. It really is. Um, there's also some great stuff in there with Sanji. There's also, the, the chapter is, it's, it's a very action-centric chapter. And there's not much to it. It really just events happening. It really just the Straw Hat getting inside the castle, and then at the end, as we all know, a uh, big J does reveal. We already kind of knew this, it was pretty obvious, but the castle is him. If the castle is destroyed, he will die. So he's on the floor bleeding. He's really injured. And they're pretty much like, there's a pissed off Yonko out there who wants to kill us. There's a pissed off young girl out there that wants to kill us. Um, we're all going to die if we go out there. That's what the situation is looking like now, which is depressing. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I am getting a little sick of them constantly being like, if we do a big mom going to kill us. I'm like, listen, the audience, maybe Luffy too retarded to realize the situation, but I realize that we're screwed. Everybody else realizes we are screwed. The only person who doesn't realize how screwed these people are is Luffy. Luffy's the only person dumb enough not to realize how serious the problem is. He really is. He's the only person that goddamn stupid and doesn't realize how dangerous Bunyoko are. He's the only person who doesn't realize how dangerous Bunyoko are. So, I mean, I think Luffy even realizes that he may not give a shit. But the point is, is that even Luffy, okay, even Luffy, even though he doesn't really care, even though I'm sure if he was alone, he would just try to kick Big Mom back. But I, even Luffy is acknowledging he can't beat Big Mom and his crew is in danger. Like, you can tell Luffy kind of like, shit. You know what I mean? Like, this is bad. Like, they all, they all acknowledge it. It just, we all need to be constantly reminded of it. Like, what Oda should, I think I, I can't make it a comparison, but I'm gonna make a Naruto comparison of Madara, for example. People didn't need to talk about how strong Madara was and how screwed over you were when you were fighting Madara. Madara just did cool things. Big, instead of constantly telling us how hopeless the situation is, I just wish Oda could just show us how hopeless the situation is and just have Big Mons just like rip Beijing Castle in half. And you're gripping skull out, and you'd be like, I'm a Yoko. Don't fuck with me. Like, show us why things are so hopeless. Don't tell us how hope. Don't just have the character talk about it. Tell us. That kind of bothered me. But yeah, but that was nice. And aside for that, I have really nothing else to say. Um, I think my days are gonna die. I, I, and I don't toss that around lightly. But it just. Big Mom wants him dead. And he's not a main character. And honestly, I could very much see it. You know, the key of the castle, if the castle is destroyed, he died. It, it seems too convenient. And I'm I'm getting the feeling Beige is gonna die Beige is gonna die. Um so yeah, that's the thing. Beige may die. Um I made a discussion video on how much I think it is that Beige is gonna die, but I don't know if I had could make it be long enough. I'm already kind of dragging this review, but... I mean, if I had to rate the chapter... I'd give it a solid... 5 out of 5. I can't think of anything wrong with it. 
I'm talking about that and Big Mommy, and they're constantly talking about how screwed over they are. And even then, I feel like I'm in the minority that is bothered by that, but maybe I'm wrong. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm actually going to start streaming in a couple of minutes, and maybe I'll probably have a stream started a little bit after this on my live reaction or up, but we're going to watch the My Hero Academia. So, yeah.